ability. Ten winners in 11 races. You never know who's going to turn up in victory lane. We might add another new winner tonight as Matt Kenseth takes the white flag. The final lap of the Coca-Cola 600 in search of his first Winston Cup win. Smooth right down to the bottom of the racetrack. Exactly where he ran the lap before. Making Bobby Labonte is making a run at him, though, on this last lap. All Matt has to do now, though, is not make a mistake. Final set of corners. Here he comes. Winston Cup win, number one in the Coca-Cola 600 for Wisconsin's Matt Kenseth. And what a race to have your first win at. It's Kenza's second career victory. Last November, Joe Nemechek got his second career victory here. And last spring, Steve Park got his second career Winston Cup win here. Craven stayed out on his old tires and finished fifth. Probably is right about where they thought they'd be. About what they thought they'd do. So that turned out all right, too. Checkered flag in the air. Matt Kenza for Jack Roush and Ford scores his second career Winston Cup win. Sterling Marlin, the runner-up, Bobby Labonte, Tony Stewart, Ricky Craven, the first five. And that caution had no effect on the race whatsoever because Kins has had to race one. So the best car won the, the race. The best car won the race. Right there, Mark pulls up on Jeff yeah. Gordon, right center off the corner, just can't get enough run to carry it down the straightaway. Think Got one more lap to try to and I think what but Jeff's doing is just being sure he doesn't get up off the bottom because I don't believe it... Uh, I think he knows that Mark can't pass him unless he gets a nose under him. Mark did the same there he thing goes. in the middle of one and two, right can't. up on the rear bumper. He just can't keep that speed off the corner. Gets back in it quick, but just can't carry the speed off. Car right, number 17 coming off of turn four. Checkered flag in the air. Six races, six different winners. Matt Kenseth beats Jeff Gordon by a second. Mark Martin is third, Ricky Rudd fourth, Tony Stewart, Jimmy Johnson, the top five, then Marlon, Spencer, Elliott, Labonte, the top ten. Up front, Ryan Newman trying to become the first Winston Cup driver since Cale Yarborough in 69 to win the first race at Michigan. Well, look at the run, Dale J. Got off of Michael Walker coming in the middle of three and four. It's going to be the white flag this time, though, guys. Is he going to have enough time? And the 24 car is right there, too, boys. We're looking at 10 on the apron. There is no out of bounds here. You can go through the grass if you need to, and he's going to complete the pass there. It's going to be tight. It's going to be close down in this corner. Yikes. He made the pass. Picked up two positions, but he hurt his momentum. Jeff Gordon's getting to run back on the own turn, too. Gordon's flying. He comes up along the outside of Jarrett there. Yeah. Jarrett is there going after Newman. I believe he's got it, boys. He has those four fresh tires. He's going to take second position. I think going there, for the win. He's going to go to the outside. Where? Here he comes. Go, go, go to block. Go, go, Here go. he comes. Kent is going to try to block him. Jarrett going for two in a row. Matt Kenseth leads it. Jarrett looks low. No. Kenseth to win it. Jarrett, Newman, Waltrip, side by side, Benson and Gordon. Boy, the way that restart played out, Larry, four tires turned out to be a good call. Boy, it absolutely did. Harvick looking for fuel, sloshing that thing back and forth. All right, three quarters of a mile for Matt Kenseth. One more lap to go, final lap at Richmond. Katie's watching. They've got a vacation home up in their native Wisconsin. They like to go there to get away from it all. If they go there tomorrow, they can celebrate win number four of 2002. And Matt Kingsley has won the Chevrolet Monte Carlo 400 at Richmond. We knew he could make it, Benny. <laughs> Ryan Newman second. Jeff Green got third. Dale Earnhardt Jr. came all the way back from a lap down to fourth. And Todd Bodine gets a top five. Watching all, that's right. There's Katie. That's wife watching all. White flag. Down to the final mile for Matt Kenseth. 
Matt will be the 13th different winner in 15 Winston Cup races here at Phoenix. The third Roush Racing driver to take a checkered flag in that group here. Mark Martin, Jeff Burton are the others. Kansas will have led 55 of the 312 laps. The two-tire call at lap 259, the key to victory. Kenseth got away after the final restart and picks up his fifth win of 2002. Matt Kenseth, the winner of Phoenix. Good job, guys. Great pit stop. Uh, you have to got me out in front of the two. We probably went to one. Uh, great job figuring a fuel mileage run. Good job, guys. They won the Pittsburgh Championship a week ago. And, and Sterling couldn't stay with him. The door was open, but Sterling couldn't capitalize. I mean, he's been able to run that car on the high side, on the Claire low side. High. And we're one on the bail lap. out. Jamie. One to go. And he's got one more car up here. He might be able to get. It's not that one, by the way. Because <laughs> nobody. This is what you call a Sunday afternoon drive for that 17 car. Matt Kenseth. Comes off turn number four and scores his seventh career Winston Cup victory. Boy, we got a battle coming back here. Oh. Jimmy Johnson sideways. He was falling out together. How did that car miss him? He had to Jumping. give it to he, He's never lifted out of the throttle yet, Jimmy hadn't. I mean, that was a battle for eighth position, and John Andretti in the 43 just made it by. Dale Earnhardt Jr. did beat teammate Michael Walter for second place back to the line. Over there off the two. Look back, Murray looks like he's going to go to the bottom this time. This is where he's That's been so good. where he should have been. I, I would have gone to the bottom sooner if I'd been him. He just like yesterday. The pass. White flag this time. One to go, boys. All right. Somebody's got to go different. Can't all go the same way. Kenseth went low in one. Here Changes comes. lanes. Here comes Kane on the outside. Just can't quite mad it right there off of turn two. But Murray almost hit the wall exiting two and drops back. Yeah, he lost a lot of ground right there. Last time through three and four, though. Here they come. Kane goes to the bottom. Kane comes to the bottom. It's he gets a run. run. He's got a good run on him. Side by side of the line. Kenseth. Kenseth. Told you it'd be a Momoko finish. Matt Kenseth wins the Subway 400. His eighth career win. One one hundredth of a second. I think it's by design as he's going to get the white flag this time. Matt Kenseth. Final lap with a 4.3 second lead. This is a very similar scenario to what we saw here last year with the uh, with Matt Kenseth. Latter part of the race, he just drove off and left everyone. The year before, Darrell, he won the most races of anyone, and everyone thought that Vegas would be his first of many wins, but it was his only win as Brian Vickers runs out of fuel on the back straightaway. Another lead lap car, Matt Kenseth. He's just going to ride at home behind these two lap cars. Matt Kenseth, the defending Nextel Cup champion, scores his ninth career victory. Here comes the 42 trying to get under the 20. No, nope, didn't quite make it. But how about that kid, Casey Kane, in that nine car? Comes home second again. Mark Martin fifth. Elliot Sadler sixth. Casey Mears seventh. Bobby. Green flag, green flag. Burton all over him. A slower car, they got to pass. Carl Edwards up there. I know Kenseth didn't want to see this, but Carl gets out of the way. Their teammates, 17 and 99. White flag, last lap at Bristol. Half a mile to go. Boy, Burton threw it in there hard, didn't he? He's trying as hard as he possibly can to catch that 17 car, but he's not going to be able to do it. He's not. Matt Kenseth wins at Bristol. Jeff Gordon comes back to finish fifth. Sixth, great finish for Mike Bliss. Paul's going to have to drive hard on the outside. Matt Kenseth has one win in the last 71 races. Trying to break through. He's got a big lead as they come to the white flag. One to go. White flag for you here. White flag. Here comes Carl Edwards in the 99 on the high side. Trying to get that second spot away from Jimmy Johnson. Got 48. He got a heck of a run down here at three and four at the top, but he lost a little bit of ground that time off the of two. You watch him down here in turn three, though. He's going to take it hard to the outside. The new tire cars race.
racing up three wide in the middle of the pack as Matt Kenson comes off turn number four. Oh, job ahead of Jimmy Johnson and Kenson wins the Auto Club 500. Bander coming across. Ah, five, five wide, wide on the apron. <laughs> and the most amazing thing about it is they all made it. They did. You see Kyle Busch finishes 10th in the five car for the first time. Two, four, six. And it'll be white flag over Matt Kenseth this time by. Well, it's a, it, it, Jamie may not win the race, but he gave it a, pile, a, pile, a valiant effort. And he'll sleep well tonight. Yes, he will. I, I think, finally turned the corner. He made a statement yes, today, hitting that whole race team. Good job. Kenseth's car was just too good. Matt Kenseth can make it off turn three and four. He's going to chop into that points lead of Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, it's a great, great, great job on the Matt's part. Way to go, Matt. Loose off four, but Matt <laughs> Kenseth wins the neighborhood for excellence 400. And Jimmy Johnson comes home six. <laughs> That's amazing. From 19th starting position, Kenseth the winner. Today. That's fifth place up there. Mark Martin, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Meanwhile, Matt Kenseth flag this time, white flag. takes the Clear white flag yet. last lap at Michigan. Gordon is closed within eight tenths of a second. It does look a little like Chicago, doesn't it? I don't think you're not the same outcome as <laughs> Chicago, though. Clear by the end. This is a strong performance for Matt Kenseth and that Robbie Reiser-led team. Second in the championship standings right now, just 58 points behind Jimmy Johnson. Matt started working on cars when he was 13 along with his dad. Started racing at 16. Already has one Nextel Cup championship, trying to get another, trying to make the chase for the championship. Matt Kenseth wins at Michigan. Good job, guys. I thought I was going to blow it again. I was getting so tight. Good job. Stewart third. Oh, look at the race. Oh, Mark Martin, I think, just beat Earnhardt <laughs> to the line for fifth. They were racing rivals. We've talked about it before. Racing rivals in Wisconsin. When Robbie needed a driver to replace a, his driver in the Bush Series, he went and called Matt Kenseth. Kenseth brought his helmet and his heart, climbed into Robbie's cars. And it's finally, he gets up underneath Jeff Gordon. Ten car. Oh, and they're rubbing on each other. Because Jeff's going to lose two spots if he isn't careful, not only to the 10, but the 11 as well, Hamlin. Might lose more if they wreck, working the last lap at Bristol. Wow, that was a good move on Scott Riggs' part. Did a really good job there. Here he goes. Matt Kenseth wins the oh, Sharpie 500. Yeah. Yeah, might have held on for that spot. Oh, you guys are awesome. Computer says he did anyway. You want a tight car on this end. You want in three and four, you want your car to be a little bit snug. But in turn two, White flag it can't be. White, White flag. flag. Bring it home. Kevin Harvick got his tire changed. He's at the tail end of the lead lap 17th. Look at that thing, Larry. Eating that white line up, back in the gas, not pushing the nose. Off she goes. This goes through the center. He's able to pick that throttle up and drive it straight Clear off by the corner. Seven. No pressure here. Clear by. Jack Roush has 12 victories at this racetrack, six in the Bush Series, four in Nextel Cup, and two in the trucks. Well, in just a few feet here, a few yards yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. I love it. Matt Kenseth, second time in his career, he sweeps the weekend. Kenseth wins the Auto Club 500. His wife, watching and hoping and probably wondering about all the discussions they've had the last few weeks. All right, white flag, last lap, guys. It's been a long year. Jimmy Johnson in seventh position, trying to battle to get in the sixth spot. Up front, Matt Ken's a dominant performance by the Wisconsin driver in the final ride with Robbie Reiser, his longtime friend and crew chief atop the box. Reiser will bid farewell and become general manager at Roush Fenway. But what a way to go out as Kenseth comes out of turn four, and Matt Kenseth will win the season finale at Homestead Miami Speedway.
has officially been declared final. It is over. So Matt Kenseth, okay, Jack well, right. Roush, there is your Her Daytona winner. 500 winner in the 51st running of the Great American Race, the 2009 champ. Matt Kenseth in a backup car, slipping through for the lead, and now the victory in the rain shortened Daytona 500 and our Steve Burns is down there. Steve? Well, Chris, Matt Kenseth wins the biggest race of them all. Matt, what does it mean to you as a racer from the time you were a child to win this race? Oh, my goodness. It's uh, it's going to be really wet out here. It's probably going to cry like a baby, but uh, just really need to thank my team and uh, thank the Lord for giving me this opportunity, first of all. And uh, just uh, had a lot of great opportunities in my life with my uh, with my family and getting me into racing. And uh, really, DeWalt, Ford, uh, Carhartt, USD Sheetrock, r &L Carriers, um, all the sponsors that we had that have stuck by us and made this happen in an up economy and a down economy. And, uh, man, I don't know, winning today from a 500 is definitely a G moment. It's just an unbelievable feeling. Matt, you've won the championship, but what does winning this race mean to you? I tell you what, after last year, winning a race means a lot to me. So um, it's really proud of these guys. It's uh, Drew's first race as a Cup Crew Chief. That's pretty cool. And uh, Chip for sticking in here with us and um, really really going through the deal and trying to make the team stronger, putting egos aside and making the team as strong as we can. And uh, these guys have been fired up and working hard. And um, it's just, uh, just unbelievable. Very comfortable. And Jeff is smoking the tires now. Matt Kenseth started 24th, which is about average starting position for him <laughs> yeah. here. That's a plus for him, actually. One second, bring it home, buddy. Wow. Two in a row, Larry. How about that? And uh, how about Drew Blick? The He'll Blick. Be still batting a thousand. The Blick. My new hero. We're by 12. Jeff Burton just ahead, a former teammate of Kenseth Come at Roush Racing. Side. I'm real impressed with the way these guys have gotten out of Matt's way. A couple of cars have just kind of stayed in the groove, but doesn't matter. He's going to get by. And here he comes. Matt Kenseth. Only the fourth driver in NASCAR history to win the Daytona 500 and the next race. Checkered flag, third California win for Kenseth and Roush Fenway Racing and Ford. How about that 17 car? How about those boys? Celebrate the good times. Yeah, yeah baby. Be back here in a year. <laughs> maybe it has. Maybe it's because it's a night race. That's, that changed Enough everything. To make, put a little exclamation point. That's right, a little exclamation point. point. Here we White go. White flag coming for Carl Edwards. Boyer all alone in second. Kenseth, or Kenseth rather. Kenseth out front. Boyer all alone in second. I think there's some cars running out of gas here, Larry. I see the 24 yeah. slow down the back. He was one of the cars that was trying to stretch the fuel a lot more than Stewart. And Stewart's, Stewart's out. Stewart's Edwards out passes gas. him. Yep, Stewart's out of gas. But here comes Matt Kenseth. He's not out of gas. For Roush Fenway Racing. What a night for Kenseth. He will win the Samsung Mobile 500. Eight seconds back, Clint Boyer is going to finish second. And the battle evaporated between Stewart and Edwards when Stewart ran out of gas. White flag in the air. Last week, Carl had two tires. The other guy didn't have any. He said, I got this in the bag. Today, he had four tires. Some of the guys only took two, some none. Thought he probably had it in the bag. Not to be. No. Well, when Matt Kenseth ran his first Sprint Cup race right here at Dover, Mark Martin won it. Jimmy Fennick was the crew chief. Today, Jimmy Fennick's on the pit box for the winner of the FedEx 400 benefiting Autism Speaks. Matt Kenseth wins it. Here's Boyer and Edwards side by side. <laughs> Boyer. You know why Boyer's half screaming? He didn't wreck. <laughs> Good call there, man. Good call. Nice job. How was all you, buddy? That was great. Uh, gosh, great job, guys. Uh, that was awesome. We overachieved the so thank you very, very much. And one more lap to go for Matt Kenseth. Edwards and Kane racing there for third and fourth. Edwards needing to hang on. That could be a valuable point in the championship. Wants to keep that four behind him. Last night, Kyle Busch lost the lead on a late restart to Ross Fenway Racing's Carl Edwards. Tonight, it was Matt Kenseth that got by Kyle Busch in the late going. Kyle will have to settle for second again. The Wisconsin driver, Matt Kenseth, scores a win in Charlotte, a huge momentum builder in his championship. It's Matt Kenseth taking race five in the chase. 
looking for the white flag this time. Once we get into this lap, if anything should happen down in turn one or two or three and four, it's over. Pre-car breakaway. Junior tucked up tight under the bumper of Biffle. Kenseth leads to turn one, final lap. Danny Hamlin in the 11s there with no one to push him. Actually, he might get, actually be hurting those two cars in front of him if he gets back too far. But here we go. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen pretty quick. We've seen where the timing of where you do it is so critical. And, and those two cars, the 16 and the 88, should be able to get by. But Kenseth, if Biffle elects to take the chance. Ford, Ford, Chevrolet off the final corner. Matt Kenseth trying to win it for the second time. Here comes Junior to the outside. Side by side with Kenseth. He runs out of time. Matt Kenseth wins the Daytona 500. I tip my head. I know Matt can't talk to you, but thanks to Jimmy. 2009. Awesome, Matt. Awesome, Matt. Stewart to the lead at the white flag. We're on the last lap. Will they make it back? Well, he will pass the pass when he's got the 29 pushing him here. Four deep behind Stewart and Kenton. Yeah, Kevin Harvick's got some real help coming towards the front here. Michael Waltrip in the 55. Into the picture. Pushed by Casey Mears. Kenseth with oh, Harvick behind him. Oh, oh, there's contact. Out of you now. Stewart into the middle of the pack and over. Watch it now. And a huge wreck to end this race. Matt Kenseth is going to get to the finish line first. Is everybody okay? And what of the championship drivers got through? Which ones didn't? Well, Matt's been a favorite over there. He, he's a really good people person. He cares about the organization, and he's just a tremendous competitor, and you can see that happening. And the white flag is up. We're in the last lap today at Kansas. A race that's featured 14 cautions. A very tough toll on car and driver. Many, many rallies on the day, including this 17 from as far as 24th in the pack. Final quarters here for Matt. Checkered flag is on. Third win of the season, second of the chase. Matt Kenseth wins at Kansas. Oh, man. Brad Keselowski finishes eighth. Get off of this corner with a head of steam. Again, we got lap cars up here. He's going to get a little. Going to get a little pull off of Casey. Carl Edwards, is taking, Carl Edwards is taking fifth from Jimmy Johnson. As here we go on the last lap. Three cars ahead. The first of which is Casey Mears. And they'll Play pitch Mears guys. before the start Get finish. Down, 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 down. I, I got him, Matt. I got him, buddy. Bring it to the line here. Clear by three. Can you believe you're driving, holding off Casey Kane, and you're telling the spotter what you need? Kane looks to the inside. Light the candles. Happy birthday, Matt Kenzo. Oh, it's a huge win. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, everybody, man. Thanks for picking up the side of me. Awesome. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for putting me here. Thanks, guys. Brian Vickers down and out of the way. They may catch the next car before this one's over. Kane has the bottom, sweeps up out of turn number four. White flag. White flag. In the air. One more lap. It is not over yet, though, boys. McMurray may not be a factor. He's probably far enough ahead as they roll turn number two. Okay, Larry, what happened that time is, is, is Matt moved up the hill. Got a nice run off of turn two, opened up the, the distance between he and Kane. I think he can hold him off from here. That's Tony Stewart who pulls down to the inside, out of the way, not wanting to affect the outcome of this one. Kane coming on the bottom, sweeps up high. He's got a chance to dive down Here's low. Checkers, but Matt Kenzo, that's the third straight driver to win a Sprint Cup race from the pole. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> that a lot of work. Well, Dang, man. Thanks, guys.
Flag for Kenseth. A little bit of traffic in front of second place. Clear sailing for our leader. He is just up here in a long gone cruising to victory. And Gordon has backed off a bit from Hamlin, who catches the traffic. Yeah, I think Gordon really tried real hard in uh, turns one and two and lost a lot of time. Don't think he's going to be able to get Denny Hamlin in the 11. Out of turn four from Wisconsin, Matt Kenseth scores his 27th Sprint Cup Series win. And Thames Darlington with Denny Hamlin second, Jeff Gordon third, Jimmy Johnson and Kevin Harvick the top five. Kyle Busch led 265 laps and finishes sixth. Day when Jimmy Johnson dominated the action, it looks like Matt Kenseth will rule the day. He will win here at Kentucky and grab his fourth win of 2013. I don't even know what to say, guys. This is unbelievable. Thank you so much. Go ahead, you're going to take contact to make this pass. You're not just going to pass Kenseth. They come to the white flag. The last lap at Bristol. Kenseth and Kane, who wins it? He's there. Can he get to him? Not Final to him. corner. Here's the bump. No, nope, he missed it. Matt Kenseth is going to hang on and win the night race at Bristol. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. You're all. Thank you. Good job, Peter Butter. Good job, boys. Best team in the business. We got our mojo back. Time to get serious. Great job, guys. Sorry about my mess up tonight. Glad it didn't cost us. Final lap of the race is underway. The number one seed entering the chase. Likeable, fun sense of humor, easy to talk to, but all business behind the wheel. Tonight, he'll wind up leading the most laps, and in an effort to start his championship off, will collect maximum points at Chicagoland. Checkered flag and the Geico 400 to, miss, to Mr. Matt Kenseth from Wisconsin. Can he make it stick on the exit and have a shot on the last lap? White flags in the air, final lap in New Hampshire. Watch him go to the apron right here to get all the speed that he can through the corner. That didn't use that line that time. One more set of corners. He tried. He Not going to be enough. Matt Kenseth is going to open the chase with two straight wins. Checkered flag at New Hampshire to Kenseth and Joe Gibbs Racing. You're, you're unbelievable, man. Thank you so much. That's a win. That's a win on the start 500 right there, bud. Only guy to ever do that was the key. You're the man. This is more than a dream come true. Thanks, guys. Man, I'm usually a semi-feature car here. Thank you very, very much. Being booked, songs getting quoted. Lot on my plate, yeah, I got my bases loaded. Busted on the scene, yeah, it's like I exploded. The same ones that used to hate me, the same ones that promote it. Flashback freshman said, I don't wanna play. Bridgewater cool, I'm sorry, yeah, I don't wanna stay. Because I got 